Hello and welcome back to Rick's Kits. Okay, so to this week on the bench, got an Airfix 172nd, mine called HE111H6. Um, I look through the kit, it's very nice detailed. Um, I'm looking forward to putting this one together, and um, I shan't be doing any of these three. Instead, I have got of decals. Uh, I've got each of them, one of them, sorry, P. Um, reason I'm choosing P over the H6 is for Britain um, aircraft from around. Uh, 41 time and the one I am looking at will be this one down here the P2 work number 2149 or 3 KG55 Luftwaffe based in France 1940 Is the decal sheet that comes in there? Look at a good ten aircraft, I think, in in there. Um, they look really nice, these decals. So, when we get round to it, we'll see how the decals go. So, I'm going to crack on and see how this goes, and I'll get back to you. This is where we got to so far on this Airfix Heinkel 111. Uh, we have the, we've got the wings on, see. wings on, we've got to put all the flaps and stuff on, uh, cockpit, give it, in focus, probably not, but the cockpit is, basic part of the cockpit is done, um, there are, there are three figures with this. That's RLM02, the uh, paint. Uh, the cockpit required it in uh, dark grey, but fortunately I didn't have the dark grey, so I had to put it down as RLM02. But yeah, that's where we're at the moment. Uh, we've got the Bombay located within the site inside the fuselage there there's no bombs in there We've got the bomb doors on so yeah that's where we are need to put the flaps on get the tail plane on and uh see where we go from there i'll see you in a bit okay so here we are back again with another small update in how far we've got so far uh i just spent god knows how many hours In doing that, probably could have bought masks off of the internet, but it would take too long for it to get here, so, yeah. Probably need two hours just doing that glazing, but it's, it's done. Broke one of the front guns, so. Uh, but the rest of that glass is going to all be covered up with paint. So that's where we are now at this moment in time. Is going to get primed up soon. So let's carry on and I'll uh, in a bit. Okay, so here we are, we're back in. Uh, as you can see, I've um, gone ahead and got carried away painting the aircraft. Uh, she's in a Dunkel Groon and Schwartz Groon Splinter, what they call a Splinter Camouflage. I put a black primer down and, and done a, a light grey filling in the panels and then very fine 
light, should I say, uh, coat so you can get some, you can see some of the modeling effect on there. Uh, and as you can see with, with the water, we're now getting ready to put some decals on and a uh, little bit more painting and this one will be finished up. So I'm going to carry on and I'll come back when I've got something to show you. Hello, welcome back. Here we are, here's the final of my Winkle HE111. Should be an H6, but I've converted it. Well, say I've converted it, we've made it a P2. Uh, this is in the uh, markings of Winkle HE111 P2. Work number 2149 G1JL of 3rd Amp Group of 55 Luftwaffe based in France in 1940. Uh, the decals were extra decals. Unfortunately, I think their scaling on 172nd doesn't quite work out very well uh, these were fine apart from the white going on on here where they've uh, not set properly um, let me show you around the side so what we have here let's see we've got this I think it's a skeleton in trousers or a pat with a, bro a brolly uh, umbrella and then you've got this guy here on the side um, this should be half the size this mark in here should be half the size of what it actually is I mean this looks more like a 130 second scale or close to a 130 second scale marking and same with this one this is why this is a lot bigger than what is depicted for this aircraft it should be about half the, half the size of that um, but the decals have gone down not too bad there's there's a bit of silver in there um, we managed to we masked off all, all that canopy and everything it's come out all right I think to be honest with you uh, I didn't use the extra decals on here I actually used the uh, airfix kit decals because the extra decals were, were like out here somewhere. Uh, they were a little bit too big for, for this. But yeah, I'm pleased with the way this one's turned out. Uh, we did it, it break off this gun and this gun and this gun on the front to start with. But I've managed to get them all glued back on again. Uh, I've been learning a little bit paint technique, you know, the doing the uh, black primer and then the, the white underneath and then going over with light coats of uh, paint to give it that sort of slightly worn look. But yeah, I'm pleased with it. I'm happy with it. It's uh, another one crossed off. Let's move all that out of the way. another one crossed off of the uh, list um, thanks for watching thanks for putting up with me thank you to all my subscribers I really really appreciate you including all the new subscribers and specifically my old subscribers for being a part of my channel I'll catch you in the next one bye for now